The Boston Celtics blow another 14 point lead for the third night in a row and the Cleveland Cavaliers advance to 7-0 in overtime this season. Wow, what a game we had on this Tuesday night. Grant Williams went to the line with .08 seconds left in a tie ball game and missed both free throws. Donovan Mitchell was playing hero ball all night. Lamar Stevens had some great plays and so did Evan Mobley. We're going to get into all that in today's video, guys, tonight. But before we do, I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the last two videos. The recaps this week have been doing tremendously well, and I just want to say thank you, guys. I really do appreciate the support. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so if you're new here and enjoy NBA-related content, please be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers. What a game tonight for Cleveland to protect the home court. I mean, honestly, guys, I would be lying to you if I told you that I thought they were going to win this game. Very inefficient night from your two stars and Garland and Mitchell. Uh, Garland shot six for 18 tonight and two for seven from the field. And Mitchell had scraped together 40 points, but shot 14 of 34 from the field and four for 11 from the three. That's not a knock on Mitchell, what I'm about to say, but that's a very Donovan Mitchell-like stat sheet. He just has this kind of ability to just be very inefficient, but score a lot of points. And that's something I said when they actually Actually ended up trading for Donovan Mitchell but one thing I do have to give credit for for Donovan Mitchell is when he takes those crazy mid-range shots or those in momentum three-pointers he does a really really good job of chasing the ball and chasing his shots and his rebounds and that's why you see that tonight he almost led his team in rebounds and had 11 boards tonight four offensive rebounds just a very good example of what I'm talking about he also shot perfect from the free throw tonight in a game like this where points were pretty hard to come by for them it's definitely definitely needed the Cavs did a tremendous job of taking advantage of the fatigue that the Boston Celtics saw tonight the Celtics scored 17 points in the fourth quarter to the Cavaliers 31 in the fourth quarter honestly guys it was an amazing game I don't want to say an amazing game from Mitchell even though he had 40 points but I want to say an amazing game from Evan Mobley I love to see how dominant what he was tonight he finished with 25 points 16 rebounds and three blocks tonight and he shot 10 for 14 from the field I love to see that he was taking advantage of the mismatches and he tried a couple times to posterize Luke Carnett and or Blake Griffin really really solid night from him tonight Lamar Stevens did not really show up too big on the stat sheet but in the fourth quarter and in overtime or no just the fourth quarter I'll say he had some really big offensive rebounds I mean, tonight he finished with triple the amount of offensive rebounds as he did defensive rebounds. He had eight total and netted six offensive rebounds. Absolutely huge on the offensive glass tonight. He did a really, really good job of just diving for balls, grabbing those offensive rebounds, and he hit a really big three-pointer in the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. Really, really great night tonight. Just kind of proved the point that he should be getting those minutes instead of Shetty Osman. If I've made a video talking about that before, even though Osman didn't have a terrible night tonight, I just think Lamar brings a lot more defense and rebounding to the team. And now that they've gotten rid of Kevin Love, I think that desperately needed to be field or filled, my apologies. Darius, he did a really good job tonight of kind of playing through the roughness that he had. He finished tonight with 17 points, five rebounds, and 12 really big assists tonight. And he also did a really good job of not turning the ball over too much. When your point guard or you know one of your primary scorers is not scoring the ball really well, I think it's really, really good if he's continuing to just lead the offense and flow the offense through his facilitating ability. And that's something Garland's obviously really good at. Not too much I want to say about the Cavs other than great comeback win. They had a lot of turnovers in the fourth quarter, but they ended up stopping pretty much. It feel like it was like night and day when there was three minutes left in the fourth quarter. They went on that crazy 14 to four run and they cut it to three points with three minutes left in the third quarter or three minutes left in the fourth quarter. My apologies. Again, they had a lot of turnovers, but this was a huge win at home to protect it and end up winning the season series against the Boston Celtics. That could come in handy later in the season, but I digress. Great win for the Cavs tonight. As for the Celtics, you guys started this game amazing. I wouldn't have even been able to guess that you guys came off a double overtime performance last night. The Celtics bench outscored the Cavs 23-2 in the first quarter and a half. Insane, insane. 
I gotta say, I'm really impressed for the Celtics in this one, other than the fourth quarter. They've had a couple of bad losses this, you know, the last week or so. They blew a 28 point lead to the Nets. They blew a 14 point lead and lost in double overtime last night. And then tonight they blow another 14 lead and lose in overtime. But I was gonna say, it was, I, I actually, like I said, thought the Celtics were going to win tonight. And it was impressive that without Jason Tatum, you were going to be a pretty much fully healthy, without Jason and Al Horford, you were going to beat a fully healthy Cavs team after a crazy double overtime night. Luke Cornett, first shout out I want to give out on the Celtics. He was insanely, insanely active off the bench on the offensive glass. He had six really big offensive rebounds tonight and just did a really good job of kind of keeping them in this game whenever they were missing a lot of shots in the fourth quarter. That's when you could definitely see the Celtics were just super, super fatigued in this game. Through the first three quarters, they looked fine. They were honestly ahead of the Cavs for most of this game. But in the fourth quarter, you could just see Jalen Brown was losing direction of this game. I mean, tonight he played 45 minutes after playing 47 minutes last night. Jalen finished, he was doing a little bit of everything tonight, finishing with 32 points, nine assists, and 13 rebounds. Just a really solid night from Jalen. He kind of played like Donovan, though, in the sense that he was inefficient. 12 for 26 from the field, 1 for 7 from the 3, missed a couple of free throws. But nothing is worse than Grant Williams missing those two free throws. The only free throws he attempted tonight were the biggest ones of the game. All he had to do was make one, and this game is pretty much over. I'm not going to talk too poorly about the Celtics because, like I said, they're coming off a couple of really tough and long games this week. One person I want to give a shout out to is Malcolm Brogdon. I feel like people forget that Malcolm was what he was when he was with Indiana. Tonight, we saw a little bit of that. Super efficient, 24 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds tonight. Only one turnover. He was handling the ball really well tonight, knocking down big shot after big shot. Just a great game from him and Derek White as well. He was pretty inefficient tonight, but he had a huge shot that I thought was going to put the Cavs away. He hit that three-pointer to put him up 109-107 with 12 seconds left. Answered right back. Marcus Smart, super inefficient tonight. Four for 17 from the field, three for 11 from the three. I'll finish with 11 points tonight. A great defense, though. Dived on a lot of loose balls. Got some offensive rebounds tonight, you know, dished out some assists not as much as he normally does this was just a really weird game tonight guys a really great game to watch but it didn't really feel like a game until the last three minutes and while i kind of like that i also hate it i really like for these close games to be shot for shot I don't really like when a team is surging and letting go, especially in this fashion, because you could just tell that Boston was fatigued after last night. I know I keep saying that, but it's the truth. Joe Mazzulla did a really good job tonight coaching. I thought he had some really good rotations. And the same goes for JB Bickerstaff, just rallying his guys and keeping them level-headed in this one. Really, really good matchup. Classic East versus East matchup. Maybe we might see something like this in the playoffs. I don't know. I feel like the Celtics would wash the Cavs in the playoffs. But again, if you're the Celtics, don't be too worried. You didn't have Tatum, you didn't have Al Horford. You know, Blake Griffin was starting tonight. I don't feel like I don't need to say anything else. This was kind of a shorter recap tonight, guys. But what do you think? What did you guys think of this game? Another great overtime game. This stretch of games since the All-Star break has been absolutely amazing. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay happy, health, and blessed. If you made it this far, you know I appreciate your support as always. Peace.